Hey, I'm Mikey from Segway of Ontario, and today we're going to be comparing the Ninebot Max G2 to the Ninebot Max G30. Here are some features you need to know. Number one, suspension. Unlike the Ninebot Max G30, the Ninebot Max G2 has suspension in the front and in the back with a hydraulic damper in the front and dual spring suspension in the rear. Two, turn signals. I don't know how many times I've ever seen people try to use cycling hand signals or their legs to signal. To signal on the Ninebot Max G2, simply hit the left or right arrow button below the horn so cars know you're turning. The beauty of these turn signals is how bright they are at first glance, and you definitely won't lose them compared to other knockoffs on Amazon. Three, the bell has been replaced by a horn. The horn button is located on the left side of the handlebars above the turn signals. And just in case you're wondering where the output of the horn is, it's located between the floorboard and the stem of the Ninebot Max G2. Four, Apple Find Mine. For all my iPhone users out there, no longer will you have to use one or multiple Apple AirTags to track your Ninebot Max G2. Like in my case, I have one Apple AirTag on the outside of my scooter and one on the inside in case someone gets the one on the outside. Very confusing, but you get it. Apple Find My is set up in the Segway Ninebot app. Make sure you follow the procedures. And then from there, go to the Find My app and you should have everything ready to go. Five, a wider floorboard. Compared to the Ninebot Max G30, the Ninebot Max G2 has a bit of a wider floorboard giving you extra stability for your feet. Six, speed. Unlike the Ninebot Max G30, which goes 15 kilometers an hour on eco mode and 30 kilometers an hour on sport mode, the Ninebot Max G2 goes 16 kilometers an hour on eco mode and 35 kilometers an hour on sport mode. Seven, range. Unlike the Ninebot Max G30, which gives you 65 kilometers on a single charge in eco mode, the Ninebot Max G2 gives you up to 70 kilometers in eco mode on a single charge. Eight, improved climbing. Unlike the Ninebot Max G30, which has a climbing angle of 20%, the Ninebot Max G2 has a climbing angle of 22%, giving you that extra 2% boost when you're climbing a steep hill. Also, some more welcome changes include a 20% wider handlebar for your accessories, a safer folding mechanism, and two small reflectors along the shaft of the G2, so you're safe in all directions of traffic. And lastly, Anti-Skid Traction Control System, or TCS. This basically refers to the stopping power of the Ninebot Max G2. The reason why it has better stopping power than the Ninebot Max G30 is because of its all-weather resistance tires, giving you full confidence in your steering abilities. Also, we've been receiving feedback that the G2's battery is a little different compared to the G30, and the firmware may change. Check the description of this video for more information. And there you have it for the Ninebot Max G2. If you have any questions, you can let us know in the comments or DM us on Instagram at Segway of Ontario. Thanks so much, and from all of us at Segway of Ontario, We'll see you on the trails.